Good evening and welcome to our first live service from St Peter's in Taunton and more than likely not our last. Thank you for joining me to share in that ancient service of Compline this evening. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight. From fears and tremors of terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised from life to death. Come bless the Lord, all the servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Our reading tonight is from Romans 8, More Than Conquerors, and it seemed very appropriate as something to read tonight. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up to us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? If it is God, it is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. 
hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it is and as, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. And let's pray. Heavenly Father, we ask that you will be with each of us this night. Father, we pray especially for those who are struggling so much in this time of the coronavirus. Father, we pray for all of those who are isolated. Father, we pray for all of those who are feeling so lonely and so hopeless. Father, we pray that your spirit will be upon them and that you will send people to them to encourage them and to help them to make this time an easier time. And Father, we pray for all as the schools close on Friday. Father, we pray that you will give parents peace. Father, we pray that you will continue to encourage each of us every day. Father, help us to share a kind word, a kind act. Help us to think of others more than ourselves. And Father, we ask all of these things in your gracious Son's name. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let's say the words of the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours, the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. In peace, we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and the Lord watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. And may the Lord bless you and keep all of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, God bless and please stay safe. Amen. <laughs>